Nice. Oh, what a goal! Look, I know this isn't a video that's going to do particularly well because no one really cares about informs anymore, but this is a video that I want to make because EA have given the featured team of the week to Gabriel Martinelli, and now I've got a pretty nice Arsenal-themed attack with Saka and Martinelli. Let's just ignore the fact that we've got, you know, a Tottenham-based striker up front. Um, but we're going to try out Martinelli today, and hopefully the card is going to be good. I'm not expecting it to be brilliant, and I think we all know it won't be, but I'm just hoping it's going to be a nice fun usable card that I can use and I'm hoping really hoping I can get him as a red in my weekend league picks this week to join the likes of Ramsdale and Smith Rowe in the first owner red club on my main account sadly I didn't get Saka or Ben White I haven't got Gabriel yet either as well I think I should pick him up in fact you know what for this video we are gonna go get Gabriel right now I can't believe I haven't bought him already actually there's one with a shadow, we'll take that because we all know he needs a bit of a pace boost. Goodbye Varane, and now the back line is looking a little bit better. We'll of course have to change Mendy, but I don't mind. Let's bring in, I actually don't know what Premier League left backs I have. There is rumours that we're going to get a special Kieran soon, which is very, very exciting. Um, Nuno's not very good in FIFA, despite the pace, but you know what? We will go for him. Nice arsenal team team now for Martinelli. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So let's have a look at the card, shall we? Um, instantly, not too great seeing the free star, free star. The high high wear crates, I don't mind too much on some wingers, but we'll just have to see how that plays out in game. There is an instant positive in the traits though with the finesse shot, that's always very useful in this year's game. And there is also some fairly decent stats to be fair. He has actually received a very big upgrade versus the non-inform with him being given, obviously, the featured team of the week inform. And we can actually see a lot of this boost right here. As you can see, in general, plus 11 on both shooting and passing and plus 8 on dribbling, you love to see it. So it is, you know, a very significant boost. So what chem style are we putting on him? He's actually an 88 rated winger with a basic, which is pretty cool. Um, I am kind of tempted to give him a go as a striker, you know. I don't think he'll do too bad of a job there. For a chem style, I'm thinking Hawk might be one of the best options for him. M pretty much maxes out his pace, makes his physical is very nice and also brings up his shooting it quite a bit it's a shame about the composure because other than that the card does look pretty solid so uh it's a shame we can't really boost that maximum also isn't a bad option for him and that actually makes him a 90 rated winger which is pretty mad so depending on if you want the pace boost i think the choices are between maximum and hawk overall maximum's probably the best option for him but hawk obviously boosts his pace we're gonna go for maximum you know i feel like he'll be quick enough Game number one, and oh wow, I mean, his wingers are pretty good. His Brazilian wingers are pretty good. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. Keen, Martinelli, ball over the top for Saka. Oh, this wasn't a clean connection. What a start that would have been. Nice, good bit of link up here. And the Brazilian is through. Lots of open space for him, he cuts back. Crosses on the right foot, it's a good cross, but... It's going to be met by the opposition's defender because Saka is not going to challenge for an aerial ball. Nice tackle there. Good defensive work from the Brazilian. Fight for the badge. Oh, Martinelli with a brilliant intercept. Now there's a chance. Keepers off his line. Oh, I didn't put enough on the dink. That was such a good chance too, but that's my fault. Big bottle. Well, half time in this one, and we have had, you know, a couple of good chances. We just haven't taken them, but uh, the difference in teams is definitely showing a little bit. So, uh, yeah, that's what we've got to overcome in the second 45, and hopefully we can do that. We're going to switch formations to my more comfortable 4-2-3-1 and see how we get on. Right now, goes long. It's a good ball into Martinelli, whose touch wasn't the best, but he's done well to recover the possession. Nice. Oh, what a goal! What a goal from the Brazilian to bring us back in. Nice. Interesting. Very interesting. Martinelli showing his pace now. The angle is ridiculously tight. Come away with the ball. Here's a chance for Deck Rice. Oh, he scored! As if Deck Rice has put that in the back of the net. Oh, really? That's the goal we're going to lose to? Oh, how can you blow full? How can you blow full time there? I feel like we've just been done over there. Wow. 
I mean, I don't want to sound bitter, but I feel really hard done by there. That's 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 a bit frustrating. Um, Martinelli in the first half was meh, but in the second half he was absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, right now I'm a bit gutted about that game. Uh, once again, don't want to sound bitter, but I will say I feel like if I use my actual weekend league team, I win that game. And um, the difference in the sides really was the quality of the players. That Maradona he had was incredible. But um, anyway, we're here to focus on Martinelli. And like I say, first half, not so great. But the second half came alive after that goal and obviously got the goal and assist. Well, let's go again then. And we are once again up against some brilliant Brazilian wingers. That was the English, right? We are once again, we are once again up against some brilliant Brazilian wingers. Cante spots the run of the Brazilian. Can he get into this bit of space here? No, Marquinhos just beats him to the ball. Kante goes along with the through ball. Martinelli tries to get through a gap and does actually get through. Oh, I shouldn't have shot there. I shouldn't have shot. I should have tried to dribble inside, but my, my eyes lit up when I saw the ball bounce. Nice. I like it. Oh, go on, Martinelli. Great win of the ball. How's the left footed delivery? Oh, straight to the keeper. That's a shame. <laughs> And there's half time. Um, I think you could call that the definition of a smash and grab first half. Uh, as you can see, X XG for my opponent, four goals for us, 0 0.4. So, yeah, we've had to do a lot of defending. Now, I can't lie, I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet in this game, and we're actually going to do really well to get something out of it. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck for the second half. I see that run. Going for the long ball with Martinelli, and you know what? It wasn't a bad ball, and Keane almost made something of it. Martinelli, oh, he's cracked the finesse shot to make it 2-0. This guy's got some mad finesses. That finesse shot trait helps him out so much. Oh, good touch. Great touch around his man. Has he got the pace now to break away right up the field? It's a ridiculously tight angle, and to get the corner out of it will do well, but we don't even get that. That's a shame. Chance. Saka, delivery, Martinelli in injury time, gets his head to the ball to score. Oh, he's quit. As if he quit after that. Well, Martinelli, the match winner for us. Kind of mad considering the stats. Let's just look at them again. The XG ended up being 6.6 .6 to 1.5, but we got the job done. Um, yeah, I, I, this is why I said I don't get why he quit. There was still plenty of time for him to come back, but guess he had enough. Martinelli getting the job done, fighting for the badge till the very end. Okay, so that'll do us for this video, but there is absolutely no doubt that I'll be keeping this card in my club. And the only way this item will leave my club is if I pack a red Martinelli um, in this week's red picks. Anyway, let's talk about this card. How did I find it? Look, it was as expected. No, actually, it was better than expected because I do think this is a good item. It's very, very usable, and I think some people will actually have a lot of fun using this card. But if you're building, you know, a weekend league team to, you know, proper sweat it out, proper go for it, you just are going to go for other options. But if you want a little fun winger, then give this guy a go because he was very, very fun to use. And I liked his ability to battle for the ball amongst many other things but I just really liked his fight for the ball and you saw that in the footage you saw you saw that this guy does have you know pretty good aggression but I'll say straight away if you're looking for a Premier League winger Mane is like 30k and Mane is absolutely brilliant um in FIFA he is better than Martinelli so I, I'd probably recommend just going for him but if you want to have some fun as I say Martinelli is definitely a fun option anyway what did I like about the card um, the finesse shots were pretty mad. Uh, I think you can tell that from the footage. Whipped in quite a few of those with him, which was great. Um, his finishing in general for a winger is actually quite nice, which is obviously fantastic. And his crossing isn't too bad either. So that's all very good. And his dribbling, as expected, is also very, very nice. So some, certainly is some big positives to this guy's game. There are also some limiting factors, and it's the very obvious three star, three star. For a winger, people do not like to have, you know, less than four stars. And uh, they also are not 
not normally too keen on uh, less than four star weak foot either, which obviously Martinelli has three star, three star, which, as I say, just isn't remotely ideal. It's not the worst thing in the world, obviously, definitely could be worse, but uh, yeah, he is extremely one footed, which is obviously a bit of a shame. Uh, positionally, he is a bit all over the place with the high, high work rates. Definitely do advise, you know, stay forward on him if you're using him as a left forward. But to be fair, as a left mid, the work rates weren't an issue. It was when he was a left forward, they were a problem. But as I say, when in that left mid rule in the 4 3 one he was absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, like that a lot. So, pace, thumbs up. Shooting is nice for what it is. It's not super clinical or by any means, but it's good enough. Passing is good. Um, not great, but, um, yeah, occasionally can put through a good long pass. Uh, but uh, they weren't super consistent, but the shot passing and crossing were nice. Dribbling, like I've already touched on, is very good. And the physicals, they were also up to scratch. Like, the aggression, as I say, made him fight for the ball a lot, which was great. It's just a bit of a shame about the stamina, because he's got high, high work rates and 83 stamina, and because he's a pacey player as well, and you're going to be running with him a lot, he is going to be drained towards the latter end of the game. So, something to keep an eye on right there. But all in all... But for a discard price, which is ultimately what he is, I think he's a good card and I think he's a fun item as well. And I think if he gets another special card within Ultimate Team, he could actually have a very good wing item. But he could really, really do with a skill move or weak foot upgrade. So hopefully that does indeed happen. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the 84 rated Gabriel Martinelli. And like I say, hopefully I'm going to be reviewing more of his cards uh, in the next few months because I'm hoping that he's going to have a really good season. That's going to do us for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, give the playlist in the middle a click. Over on the right is some rankings and over on the left is how you can find out who will be in the upcoming Team of the Week. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.